I think it would be nice if like my bullies like like apologize to me for what they did last time. Like, I, it's not that I would like hate them now or like, anything, you know, it's just that if they if they already committed the act, but if they still if they acknowledge and like own up to their what they did was wrong, right? It's a sign of like moving forward and moving on from this whole thing, like, you know. What's up? What's up? What's up? <laughs> and welcome to our coffee shop. I'm your host, Nidia Noah. And welcome to another episode of the Coffee Bro Show presented by the Chit Chatter Podcast Network. And for those of you that are tuning in via YouTube or any sort of podcasting platform, hi again. Thank you so much for giving us a try for giving us a listen. We're just a bunch of Singaporeans that don't like bullies. To be bullies. Don't be a bully. Now today, I'm joined by three bros who do not like bullying. I'm joined by the Kopi Bros, Jordan and Paul. How are you guys doing? Everyone doing well? Staying strong. Okay. Staying strong. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This, type of, this type of moments is must stay strong. I must say, right, previously, uh, we did the show, we did a draft episode with Jordan and he said at the time that he was learning how to drive. Correct? <laughs> yes. Yes. Congratulations, Jordan. You have finally Yay! passed your driving test. Now, uh, how was your driving experience, your driving test? Not bad, not bad. Uh, Clock at least about 100 click already. Oh, really? I, ha, so fast, 100 <laughs> wow. click already. <laughs> yeah, I, I, so I, like every driver is about 20 plus click. Uh. So I booked the get-go uh, four or five times already. Oh, four or nice. five times. Uh. All different cars, right? Uh, Two times Mazda 3... One time Tivoli, one time Vezo. So yeah. out of all the cars that you've driven, which is the worst? I think I like the Mazda. <laughs> oh, the worst. Yeah, right? the, the Mazda 3 is like the base, the most uh, entry-level car when you just got license. It's the best car to drive. Huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. The yeah. Really, really issue. Yeah. And all this, yeah. But you, you've, been, you've said to me on Sunday that you never drive like highways. Like, you've been driving I'm more not, of the... I'm not yet. Just, yeah, yeah. just waiting for someone experienced to bring me yeah. along. Just be brave. <laughs> I said, no need, to, yeah, no need to rush, but just be brave. Then... Yeah, just yeah. go about your own business. It'll be okay, on yeah. Yeah, if you yeah. if you nervous, right, just stay on the left side, lah. Don't yeah, don't uh, don't stay on the far right, can you? <laughs> yeah. You know, do you know it's a crime to road hawk in Singapore? Yes. Yes. Yeah. So don't like just don't, don't stay on the right side and then like, hey, I'm driving at ninety, <laughs> like <laughs> then you hold up like one whole line at the. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. But when you go on the highway, right, then you will get to experience all the. Car bullies, uh. <laughs> like uh, <laughs> the go ahead, bully head. me. Go, 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 go ahead. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna stay at my just lane. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bully in general is always bad, lah. So, uh, as you can see in our thumbnail this week, uh, we're gonna be talking about a more serious topic this week, which is actually bullying. And the reason why is because anti bullying day just passed. It was the first week of May, uh, and it just went by. Now, reading up on this topic, uh, some fun facts I serve. Eh, I read about Singapore bullying cases, lah. <laughs> Uh, some of, of the statistics show, right, that one in every four secondary school students get bullied. Uh, <laughs> now, I, I don't know about you guys, right, but do y'all experience this um, bullying in general? Do you feel that it is a case that, okay, like, I see it almost like every other day that there's a chance of bullying in school, lah? Yes, very. As in, mm, when, especially when you mention secondary school, right, where, where, where teenagers are, like, very wild and... They have sort of have like a mind of their own rather than primary school. Mm. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I think one in four is a very accurate number. Is it that you fear or be feared? You are the <laughs> yeah, you fear or be feared, correct. correct. <laughs> okay. Like you want the, the admiration of a group. So there's a mm. tendency that you either flock to be part of the bullying gang or you're not. Some statistics and some common traits right, that come out of bully tactics in school tend to be like vulgarities, name calling. Uh, rumor mm. spreading, insulting and throwing things at the victim, and also coercing people to do things. So, like, they'll bully someone to go and do something like that. Uh, this often results in the bullied people. So, the people that get bullied, right, they tend to get emotions of anger, sadness, mm. uh, vengefulness, loss of appetite, and then uh, they develop antisocial behavior and social traits. Lah. I actually wanted to do this episode as a sort of way to communicate to people that get bullied or uh, there are bullies uh, that it's not okay to get bullied or be a bully. 
Uh, and the, the best way to learn is also through other people's experiences. Now, this is more of a serious topic, but we're going to be sharing more of the impactful stories of bullying that we have experienced uh, growing up, especially in primary school, secondary school. And then uh, maybe we'll go take turns and then we'll talk about what are things that we learn from our experience lah, through bullying. Uh, hopefully in this turn, it will help people that are watching this show to learn that bullying is not all right. Lah. Uh, Paul, would you like to share a story about bullying? Oh, yes, sir. Okay. Okay, so I, when I was in... I was, uh, I think, victim of bullying like in primary school. Lah, mainly, mainly in primary school. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I think when I was in primary school, I was a very small boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then like okay. I was like small, wearing specs, all this, you know, so like very easy to get picked on, right? Generally, the my, the bullies were like the seniors in my school bus. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, they would like call me names. They were like, they will pick on like where I stay, all this, you know, like, like oh, you stay HDB. Then you don't stay like, like us, like condo. Like that, like in my, in the, at the time, I was like, oh, you make me feel very... Like just because of, I, of my living condition, you they like, bully me and all this stuff. Hmm. And then like there was one time also before we bought the bus, right? They hide my bag. Ah, like before we even like bought the bus, eh? So I oh, I yeah. went home right without my bag. Huh? Are yeah. you serious? Yeah, legit, legit. So apparently, yeah, they they hid it like on level two before I bought the bus. So my dad right had to go to ACS Junior after his after work to go and get my bag. And then there was one time also where like when I alighted the bus. My dad was like, hey, how come your shirt behind got a uh, shoe print? Mm. Then apparently it's like somebody kicked me in bus, but I didn't even know, you know? Oh, okay. Yeah. So I think it's, it was not a very nice feeling like, like to to have, like when I think back now, it's like, well, like all those times I, I didn't like defend myself or I just let them like trample over me, that kind, you know? Mm, yeah. Yeah. But but do, uh, do you feel that you didn't, how do I say that? You didn't stand up, for, it's because the fact that you were much younger, correct? I was much younger, I was like smaller and then they were like had like three or four of them together so like if I stand up today I should die right? mm, <laughs> yeah, 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 I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah Somehow it's, it's the first time right especially in primary school that you learn social situations so there's really a, a adoption of like fight or flight sort of uh, mentality lah and I think yes. like in that, in that case right you weigh the options and then you feel like if I fight it's, it's not worth the, the hurt that I might get the outcome the yeah, it's like I will end, probably end up getting beaten up, like you know. Mm. Mm. Yes, yeah. yeah. So, in, so in the end, do you tell your parents that you were getting bullied? Do you tell your mom and that? They knew. They knew people were like picking on me, but they didn't know who. Because some part of me also, I do. It's like, I know it's either one of the four of them, but I don't know who exactly. I cannot pinpoint who, you know. So I like never mind, like, You know, just keep quiet about it, that kind. Like, will your, your parents go and dig deep and go and see who do it? Go and ask around and hey, do go and I think it was because I, I, I didn't like cry or like I didn't make mm. a big fuss about it, you know. It's just like I, I realized that at that point I was being bullied lah, but yeah. Because okay, they, they did it they did they did like bully other people on the bus also. So I I'm mm. thinking like okay, I'm not the only one, you know. So mm. yeah. La. It's just mm. like you might be, you feel like okay, then today is me, the tomorrow might not be that you know, it's okay. Yeah, la, yeah, yeah correct. Well, yeah. Can I ask, right? Do you feel that because of that bullying situation, it affected you later on in life. Do you feel that there was any social re- repercussions that you adopted from that? Help me to learn like when not to speak or like when not to, you know, like... No, it's more like uh, I I was be able to recognize when somebody is bullying somebody else. Mm. And then I will help mm. the, the person that is being bullied. Mm. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. Rather okay. than... Because yeah, I... I be, me being me being part of the situation before I I know what it feels mm. like so it's not a very nice feeling so so whenever I see someone like being in the same situation I will try to like make sure that they're okay even if like they were bullied after then I will like check in on them and, and all this lah yeah and now that uh, if you try to do this to me now I will definitely fight back ah. <laughs> ah, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. okay yeah yeah but um, I mean like we will not really experience this so much nowadays like because you grow yeah. up already my, everyone like matures and stuff like that but in secondary school, right, or primary school, is really the case, lah. When you were in secondary school, you didn't get bullied, no? No, because I carried this over to like secondary school, right? In a way, like I felt that you know, I recognize situations now mm. better, and yeah, and 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 mm. secondary school was when the phase where I started like growing taller, and you know all that. So there was no need for people to like bully me, you know. Just to like wrap up your story again, right? Is that you learn the awareness of when it is not right to get bullied. That's yes. the main thing, lah. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. And then now you also know that you should 
stand up for people that get bullied for lah. Like it's yeah, all so you like, just go and support. Like, empathy lo. I think empathy is one of them. Definitely. Mm. Yeah. Because when I was young, uh, I had this problem with my speech. So mm. definitely it became a laughing stock to many of uh, uh, my classmates and all this. So it became a non-stop daily bombardment. Like whenever teacher being caught, uh, come and read this passage or, or say something out in the public. La. So definitely it uh, stage right and all this. Then people will, then it became a part where uh, people will tend to joke at you, even uh, trying to mimic you. Whenever mm. they see you, they walk past you. La. Yeah. So mm. that's one of the, the been through my childhood. La. Yeah. Mm. Of being bullied for one thing that I can't control of. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Yeah. Was there a specific group of people that kept doing it or was it like everyone did it? Uh, not all, not all. Definitely some, some are mutual. Some have uh, a good heart about it. But then sometimes you just want to make friends with the nastiest so that you gain... Uh, like fee- respect or something from them, right? Yeah. Respect or favor, or even a tiny acceptance. Uh. yeah. Mm. Like 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 even they joke at you, you just ha uh, just laugh it off. Hopefully they will come to one day. Uh, they will just oh, yeah. Let's stop doing this. I don't know about my feelings back then, but I think what I see now is more like uh, uh more like just laugh it off. But then mm. what I can do is I can improve on my. Sp- speech therapy and all this yeah mm, yeah it yeah. doesn't help that and, you're like insulting me yeah. <laughs> then making That's the situation somehow, worse I'm, yeah. I, I'm in the NCC imagine I give out the command <laughs> oh okay okay last time you give out yeah, the command like, uh, then you start halfway uh, I cannot say out the word <laughs> do you know the people that bullied you right? do mm. you know how they're doing now what I uh Okay, so one touch. funny thing is I, I, I did like rec- not say reconnect like, I always I, I added him on Facebook or like in secondary mm-hmm. school uh. mm-hmm. then after a while I just realised that, that I think maybe he, he was going through a phase or something like that but I think they're doing not, he's doing not too bad like, I think like a property agent or something do you think you can get past the bullying just curious like the the fact that he was a bully or do you feel that you always will remember him as a bully I say I will forgive but I will not forget la. For, for sure yeah you know yeah I, also like, say, I, I forgive him for what he did la, but I personally will not forget it in my life. La. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So in a way, right, people need to understand like this bullies. Uh, it's like when they bully you, even though no matter how much you change in life, right, or yeah. how much you mature in life after that, there's still always going to be a lingering effect on the people that you bully. And then mm-hmm. the stigma mm-hmm. that they have, right, will never change. A cautionary tale is sometimes you just need to be careful all the time to not bully people, right? Because in the end, you will never know when you come back to bite you, lah. Because this type of thing is the mm. last one. Eh? <laughs> but uh, Jordan, for you, right? What were the what some things that you key things that you remember from your bullying or like things that you took away, lah? At the start, definitely it's not easy. Uh, hmm. but as and when it became like there's a period where you just get get numb to it. Mm. Mm. I think that's where the moment you need to find your strength. Mm. Cause okay. you're already numb to what they are doing it. So. What's next? Do I continue to to be down or do I pick myself up from there? So you know it's like you have to be strong for yourself. You know what I mean? It's yeah. Mm. Not for them, for yourself. Like, yeah, like. I think I mentioned this story once or twice. Uh it is a story that has bugged me for many years, uh bullying. But it's not from the perspective that I got bullied, but it was someone else that got bullied. Uh mm. and it's always stuck with me for very long lah. I mean, most y'all will know, right? Most of us were we are from a boys' school, lah. Uh, okay. And in the boys' school, right, there will always be group of popular individuals, and then there will also be groups of like maybe awkward individuals, lah. Maybe they are more socially awkward or they are more introverted. Uh, in the school that I was in, uh, the athletes and sports CCA individuals, right, they are like king, ah. Now I played basketball, right, and I was quite good at basketball. I was like the team vice captain and stuff like that. So I hung around with the sports individuals a lot. Uh, and I'm going to be honest, right? We are part of a group of individuals that were quite awful to a lot of people. I must say, la, like this group of uh, athletes that I was hanging out with all the time. And when you are young, right, you often just want to fit in with this group. And then uh, you can be part of an elite group, but you'll pick up all of the bad tendencies of the group. La. So uh, this group of friends, right, they always make fun of people that were more socially awkward and more reserved. Uh, and at times they'll get quite bad from like they'll throw their items away they'll grab them by their collar and force them to do things 
uh, they'll degrade them and call them girls and after they'll beat them up. And then, uh, but there's one story that always stuck out to me. Lah. Uh, also for myself, right? I never, I never straight up bully and I never bully anybody. Like if someone got bullied, right? Because all my friends will laugh, I would also laugh. Do you know what I mean? Like I yeah, didn't, yeah, yeah. I didn't help lah. I would laugh or I would, uh, how to say, uh, I adopt the mindset that like, e, this guy is also like awkward. Like I don't need to go and hang out with him. That type of thing. In secondary school, I had a classmate who was a sing. Okay. And then uh, he wore a turban to school. He was quiet and uh, gentle. And to be honest, he got bullied a lot by this group of friends that I had. La. There was one day that my teacher didn't come to class. Uh, so there was like a free period in the class. Uh, and I'll never forget, right? They, they started to pick on this kid, on this uh, my, this uh, sing. La. And then one day they started to take rubber bands and then they tie paper pellets to the rubber bands. Then they started to shoot the paper pellets at his turban. Okay, so uh, they shot, shot, and then eventually the turban fell off. He cried, and then he ran to the toilet. Uh, he ran to the toilet, and then he didn't report the case, this incident, because he felt like if he reported it, he would have gotten bullied more in the school. Mm. So uh, ev- all of my friends at the time, they were laughing about this situation. Oh my God, like we did this to this person, and then he still like run away and cry all this, like what a loser, like, this type of thing. Now, uh, this was in sec two. Eventually, I, I moved on to sec three, and then I split from that that class because I went from normal to express and then I went to a uh, creative class I also a creative stream la. it's a different one and then in this creative stream right there was not much athletes but there was a lot of like okay there are some from drama there's some from like music there's some from like this type of thing right and then this really changed my perspective on life I feel this class because then it teach me like hey like it's okay to like movies or it's like it's okay to like shows or it's okay to like music so that's why I realized that, hey, this guy eh, that is in drama class, he likes like, whose line is it anyway? I also like whose line is it anyway, ma? And, like, you mean like this the Drew Carey show and stuff. But it sort of like teach me how to be non-judgmental to people and then learn how to accept people. Because in the end of the school year, right, when I was sec four, it's like a lot of them became my good friends. Ah. Like, and they're all from like different CCAs and then we all took like FNN together and stuff like that. Fast forward, right, this story to A-levels. Now uh, I'm in my orientation camp, okay? My orientation group. Now you guess... Who is in my group? The sexy the, one. The, the one the that... The sing you, with the, the turban. Yeah, so the, the sing with the turban, right? He was in my orientation group. Just by proximity, right? Because we like sort of know each other like a bit, a bit like you're my, you're my classmate. Last time. Yeah, you're yeah. last time my classmate, right? Then we don't know anyone else. Then we become like, okay, la, let's like do things together. End up, right? He became my friend. So uh, as he became my friend, at that time, I was going to gym a lot. He was... He wanted to like get bigger. I will bring him to the gym lah. So both of us will go to the gym together. I will teach him like how to go and train and stuff like that. And I become very close. One day after we were gymming, we were eating. And then he told me like, hey bro, do you remember that day that uh, your friend shot the paper pellet to hit off my turban? Then I said, yeah, I, I remember that day. But I never brought it up to him before that lah because I felt it was very awkward to mm. do so. And then he told me like, I just want to let you know right that that was like one of the worst days of my life eh. And then uh, it says that, and then I used to hate you because you were part of that group. And then you laughed. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. shucks. Yeah. So then after that, it hurt me a lot, no? That, that, that story where he told me that, leh. Because I felt so, um, like, I didn't help him, eh. Or I didn't, I just idly stood by and then let this person get bullied. I didn't know him personally. I thought he was, like, a weird person. And then he's, like, one of the, like, nicest guys that you ever meet, lah. So mm. the one thing that I learned, right, I think in general, you should respect all peoples of different culture. And then not yeah. judge people based on how of their skin tone or like or the <clears throat> racial differences or bias and stuff like that. And then I also feel that you are technically part of the bullying if you idly stand by lah. So even if you're not directly involved in the bullying, right? If you sort of like let it happen, it also tends to be like you are part of the bullying yeah, process. Yeah, you let it happen because you let it happen. Yeah. Yeah. Indifference can be a crime as well. Hmm. Yes, correct, 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 yeah. correct. And the thing that I also that also stuck with me, right? That I wanted to ask, like that's why I asked you guys, right? How is your other friend doing? So the the other friend that was the bully, he's doing very well. Okay, so it's like uh he was always like very funny and very very um popular lah. But he was a bully lah. And then now he's doing yeah. well in life, like his business and stuff like that. But my friend told me like, hey, I hate this guy, no? Like I really like if I get the chance, I will like. Like, the defending now, like, yeah, yeah. This, this type of thing. So, it does stick up to me, like, 
even no matter how much you mature, right, the lasting effects of what you did when you were young, if you're not apologetic for mm. it, right, you can really hurt someone. Uh. Let's say in your situation where mm. where you knew you, you when you when you went to JC, you recognized him immediately, yeah. right? And then like when you're I, I think maybe at that point where you all decided to like like get close and, and like we already start going to the gym or that. Like, did, did you feel that at some point that you felt that you wanted to apologize to him first before he said anything? Mm, there was a bit of me, right, that I did feel guilty. So, yeah. um, but I wanted to like, if you don't acknowledge it, I don't acknowledge it lah. You know, or like maybe he forget already, then you don't want to bring it up that kind, right? Mm. Yeah. And then I think yeah. it was very brave of him. I think he matured and then he felt comfortable around me to tell me like how hurt he felt lah at that time. Yeah. Because a lot yeah. of us were like, will not want to bring it up again because it's a, it only brings back bad, bad memories, right? I think it would be nice if like my bullies like like apologize to me for what they did last time. Like, I, it's not that I would like hate them now or like, anything, you know, it's just that it's a good thing if they if they already committed the act, but if they still if they acknowledge and like own up to their what they did was wrong, right? Then I think it was it's a it's a sign of like moving forward and moving on from this whole thing, like, you know. In that way, right? If just by someone apologizing to you, it like sort of puts a closure to that past life. Okay, I know for a fact that you changed. Do you know what I mean? It's yeah. like I don't, I don't have to go and wait in my mind. Like, hey, maybe this, even though he's doing life in good well on Instagram, right? I can see that maybe he's still. Like, is he even remorseful thing. about it? Like, you know, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah, correct. I know it's like tough, but you, you should go and ask, like, go and tell people that you're getting bullied, lah. I mean, like, it's not yeah, talk to somebody. Yeah, yeah, talk to somebody. <laughs> go and talk to your counselor. It's not. Uh, I say it's okay to just say that you need like help because you feel I I I cannot do it by myself lah. That's why people are there to help you lah. And I think also in this age and society, right, the culture that we live in now, we are more open and accepting the younger generation. So I hopefully everyone doesn't pick up these bad bullying tendencies lah. Uh, let's not seek revenge first. Mm. Yeah, because <laughs> I think most most of anyone young younger generation now is either or they tell someone they group up then it became another uh, incident happened so it's a it's a non-stop ongoing kind of uh, feud, uh. F- yeah like feud going on it weighs on you so much right sometimes if you forgive the person not for them right for yourself right it'll be like a whole like relief for you lah. do you know what I mean yeah. I'm doing I'm forgiving you for me I'm not forgiving you for you do you know what I mean it'll be a relief to you lah. Mm. Yeah, this hopefully this episode will be a good uh, learning point for the topic of bullying. But that was our bullying episode. <sighs> All right, that was our Kupi Bros episode. If you enjoyed the episode, please remember to give it a like, a thumbs up, and subscribe. We have episodes that drops every Monday. But in the same time, also if you're into football, we have the football kaki that drops every Wednesday. And if you're into fun and interesting game show formats, we have the SG Draft podcast that drops every Friday. Now, uh, we hope this episode will bring awareness to bullying even as you go about your week to enjoy yourself and remember, a copy keeps your troubles away. No! To bully! Ah.